The brush is probably the most basic yet most useful tool you can use while modeling. With the brush tool, you could treat it like drawing on your object, while also adding more material to it. It looks like layering more clay onto a clay wall, but more precisely since we have the digital means to do so. Its unique options include clay, accumulate, and thin surface. The clay option relates to the texture of your tool. If I make a mark with it on, versus marking it with it off, then you can see how with the clay option on, it looks like we added another layer of clay onto the sphere. With the clay option off, it appears more like that mark is stretched upwards. It's up to you as to whether you want the clay option toggled on or off. Both have their uses. Accumulate does what it says. It allows you to build up material on the model with a single stroke so long as you hold down your mouse or tablet pen. When it is off, the amount of material you can build up in any one spot is limited. The reason you will want this if you are working on a part of the model where you only want to add a small amount of material at a time. And this would limit how much you add per stroke, making it easier to manage. Thin surface will affect only one side of a model. As you may be able to discern yourself, this means for thin surfaces. For example, if you are working on a thin wall or the tip of a horn, then having this enabled will only add material on a surface you draw on. When this is disabled, working on a thin surface will cause an inverse effect on the opposite side of the model. This may or may not be suitable for your model, so it's important to know how this tool works so you can use it to your advantage. The Smooth tool does as it says. It smooths the surface of the model. Holding down the Shift key will temporarily switch to the Smooth tool until released. This allows you to quickly smooth over rough parts of your model without interrupting your workflow. However, you shouldn't build a habit of overusing the Smooth tool as it can result in your model looking like it lacks detail. Relax Only is more of a technical tool. What it does is even out the topology on the surface of the model, with only minimal effect on how it visually looks, depending on how deformed the topology is. If you find that your topology is pinching or stretched, you can try using the Relax Only tool in order to fix it. The Move tool stretches the selected area as if it were fabric. If you were to experiment with another tool, you'd find the Drag tool to have similar features. What Drag does instead is pull material from the selected area as if it were clay. It's important to note that the Move and Drag tools do not add dynamic topology and it is very easy to pinch and stretch the polygons apart while using them. They are best used when making only slight adjustments. Masking allows you to mark certain areas of the model to exclude them from being affected by your tools. These areas can become protected spots while also creating spots that you can focus on. For example, if you are sculpting a face and only wanted to focus on a nose, then you can mask the nose, reverse the mask, and then proceed to sculpt without worrying about anything else being modified. The masking tool can be accessed by holding down the control key for quick access. Two other actions using the control key can be done with hotkeys as well, the clear and invert functions which can also be clicked on with the buttons to the right. The clear option, which clears the mask entirely from the model, can be achieved first by hovering your mouse over an empty part of the workspace, holding down the control key, holding down left click, then dragging your mouse anywhere. If you start this action over the model, it will only add more to your mask. The invert option inverts the mask which is very helpful when you are aiming for a very specific area. For example, I want to mask out 
a small happy face design on this sphere. Then, if I invert this using the hotkey, which starts on an empty part of the workspace, holding down Ctrl, then left clicking, we can see that the only available area to work on is the happy face. On the right, below clear and invert, there are two options with no hotkeys assigned to them, blur and sharpen. These affect the texture of the masking tool, and its behavior mimics the blur and sharpen tool in drawing software. Blur makes the mask have a more feathered edge, and sharpen gives the mask a more clear-cut edge. Both options have a variety of applications, like masks that use a lot of blur can make very organic curves on a mushroom, while masks that are sharpened can make very distinct cracks on a wall. <laughs>